Hello, my name is Sami. I'm head of research and development here at UPM Plywood, and I would like to tell you something about plywood and how it's made. So plywood is mostly made out of wood. There are some glue also incorporated, but first we have this kind of thin veneers, and these are laid crosswise from the fiber direction. Every second is in perpendicular to each other, and in between there are glue. Wood as a material in this uh, grain direction, there's basically no resistance. But across the grain, there's lots of resistance. And then if you do like this, so this breaks very easily. But on the other direction, you it's very, very hard to break. And this is the reason why we lay up this, like we said, so. You get a stiff output. And, and the end product looks like this thin panel. It's lightweight, uh, it's durable, and, and, and it's very, very strong. Main uses of the plywood. So, construction end use, that is the one of the biggest end use for plywood. Uh, vehicle flooring, meaning trailer floors, buses, railway rolling stock. Uh, LNG, meaning liquefied natural gas, uh, tankers, parky, furniture. Uh, plywood has been used in aviation, like propellers and aircraft structures, i.e. Like wings. And it has been used in windmill plays as a structural component. Concrete forming is very big end use of plywood. And also different kind of moldings. And soon, hopefully, satellites. Now we are here at our Crazy Ideas corner and, and one example of the previous development is thermoformable plywood which you can do this kind of a different construction if you like to. We have been making plywood for over 100 years and during that time we have gathered lots of information about different end uses and, and uh, plywood properties and uh, how plywood behaves in different kind of end uses. But this particular project now gives us an opportunity to learn completely new things about completely new use environment. So uh, we see that this project helps us to understand plywood material even better than before. There's a new environment, new information coming from these different kind of tests that has not been previously possible for us. So it's a great learning opportunity as already said. Tommy said in his video that it took only three minutes to manufacture the panel. It uh, was about a couple of minutes work in our mill. For us, it has taken a lot of time testing and preparing the material. I'm really excited about this project. There's lots of possibilities in it. <laughs>